Welcome to Smart Villa Life. Here we talk about convenient home automation. Uh, today we will talk about uh, Wi-Fi control, or rather we will talk about the Netgear uh, app which is available in the Humi and what you can do with it. And I think it's really convenient and a cool feature that I is one of my biggest features that I like a lot. Uh, uh, since um, I, I will show you a little bit how you can set up flows with it. Um, for example, the biggest feature is that you can see if you int have internet connection or not, and you can build flows around that. You can see if you got new devices connected. You can see if a device is connected uh, that you recognize from a list or something like that. You can have uh, identify how much upload and download you're currently going on in your router and trigger on that and even send that as parameters. You have amount of de attached devices in your home and so on. So you have a lot of things. It gives you so much. And uh, But right now I will show you what I have done with it. And uh, it's uh, I'm, and so even some, some simple things. Here we have the router. Uh, it's already installed. And here we have uh, the internet connection is up. Uh, currently, I'm not downloading, uploading anything. And I have 12 attached devices. I think that's usually what I have at home to my, to my Wi-Fi. Configure it. Here I have my, my password. I need to. This is basically what you need to set it up. You need to have the IP, internal IP for it. And the, the port, uh, username. Uh, but now I'll show you how what you can do uh, using um, if you want to use it in a flow. Basically, is that you can just create a new flow and uh, take the router. Here, here we have the device router, and I can have internet connection got connected. This got got disconnected. Uh, the up and down spin has changed, which, uh, and uh, you have two variables here, up and down. You can use them for something. I haven't figured out what I should do with this, but it's there and it's cool. Uh, a device command line. This is the one I'm, uh, I'm using most, actually. It's, uh, you can have an IP name and MAC address, and uh, you can use the, this in various ways or a new connected device because the, the router manages these IPs and if there's a new device that's connected uh, you can trigger on that. Uh, I'll show you the flows that I have. New Wi-Fi connected device. It's really simple. Uh, a new connected device. Uh, I will change the volume. I will new device detected uh, on the network basically. It will it will say, say out in the home it will say it. I get the message to my telegram um, and also save the MAC address to a variable so I can use it to add it to my list. For example, if it's a new friend who is connected to my network, I will, I will save the MAC address so I can use it, utilize it and, and simply add it, add a new follow for it so I can trigger something special when they are arriving. Uh, so I will be notified that they are coming So and then I decrease the volume again. So this is one of the flows, how guest arrives flow. And this is basically a device com came online. Device, device, new device MAC address is matching. The variable with the MAC address is matching the, the new connected device. Guests are already here. I will only be notified by the first guest that arrives. Then I will not be spammed if the people are leaving and coming and so on. So I will, okay, and guests are here, then I will not care about that. So the doorbell will ring uh, when the guests arrive and I have a notification on my phone, guests have arrived and it will also switch a mode. Uh, with, this is a virtual device with, with, which is set to a mode and it also sets these guests are, are over variable uh, to true. And these two ones are used in various different flows that I use for do a lot of things like lighting and uh, yeah, uh, many things. And I also add to the log, guest was over and also says how many attached devices I have that in my log. I can also add here uh, some for some specific guests, my 
my friends. <laughs> I have some voice. Uh, I do some jokes. Okay, next time they will arrive at my house, they will tell you something about that joke that I did last time I saw them. So then I add this to this list, which is a quite fun feature, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, if example, if internet goes down, uh, the internet is disconnected. Uh, it's adds to log the internet goes down. Uh, it says in the speakers internet connection is down. So I, if all of a sudden things start stop to work, which <laughs> happens in my home, <laughs> but uh, then uh, it's saying it out loud. It's actually internet is not working. Okay, then I know that. I don't have to fault trace everything. And just to be sure, it reboots the router. Uh, and uh, that's that's really nice to when it reboots it. So if it's something with the IP or something, it should just fetch a new IP and it doesn't do that, which it always does. It reboots it just to be sure. So it might solve the problem, but it has never happened that it solves the problem. But it, yeah. anyways, uh, it's called leaving house alarm on. It's basically a, a, a flow that I trigger in various flows, and this is how you do that. This flow is started, and I trigger that flow in many flows. So uh, what's happened here is that uh, I turn basically everything off. Everything in my house is turned off, uh, which is really nice. And what it also does is that it turns off my guest Wi-Fi, um, both my 2.4 GHz and my 5 GHz. Uh, Wi-Fi is turned off, so no users can access them. So when I'm not home, my and no one can use my Wi-Fi uh, here at home. It's just my main Wi-Fi that I only have for my own devices, which I never gives to anyone. I only give up the guest Wi-Fi password, which leads me to another thing that I, I use uh, for my home automation. Now let me show you how you can do a very cool simple thing when if you want people to connect to your wi-fi at home uh, using paper this one which makes basically just a normal qr code i have went into uh, google on uh, create your own qr code to access your wi-fi and i just typed in all the credentials that you use to connect to my wi-fi and then i created this one and when you just scan that one, you can just press OK, then you're on my Wi-Fi. Then you do the flow that I showed you before, and it's, it's and, and it get notified notified in the the homing. So it says out loud, new device connected, which is really cool. That's pretty neat, and that's all for my uh, Wi-Fi control episode uh, and the Netgear app and how you can utilize and control your Wi-Fi using your home, which is quite cool if I should say so myself. And uh, yeah, I like this feature, and uh, yeah, that's that for today. My question is, what do you guys think? Do you, don't you think this is awesome? Do you have any ideas about this? Do you think that we can use this in some way that I haven't thought about? There's probably a lot of things you could do with when you control your uh, your Netgear router in that way. So if you have some ideas, please post them in the comments down below or just say what you think because I, I think it's so cool. Uh, if you like this video like I do, uh, you leave it a like. And uh, if you want more weekly content like this one, please consider to subscribe. Thank you.